Team World, I wanted to demonstrate the SUP object detail screen. Before, you've seen the SUP object browser, but my recording software does not uh, show the screens that are popping up when I click on the objects in the object browser. And this is the screen that you see when, it, when you do that. In particular, you're looking at the bong, uh, bong ball object, and I'm uh, sitting on its detail screen right now, and you can see that uh, there's just a big gray box here, because bong ball is an active application and by default, those are filtered out. To get the, so to get Bong Ball to play, you'll have to hit this trust button. And we'll hit refresh. Oh, and when I did that, I guess at the same time, uh, we just got a message in from Alan Vanderveer. <laughs> hey, all right. So you can also see how the commenting stuff works. The, uh, uh, so, uh, any, uh, sorry, I'm a little... Kind of got me excited there. <laughs> but uh, so, yes, and it's up. People can send uh, messages to the object, and they'll show up here on the right panel. Uh, hitting this button refreshes them. And so you can see that uh, uh, Alan Vanderveer tried to beat my all time high score, 7 to 26. We could do this. But unfortunately, you can't talk to Alan in SUP yet because this is read only. You'll have to use the Curtis IO tool. But uh, on to other things. So we've got this active panel. You've got the URN, the IMG, and the URI. The IMG we're using uh, to show thumbnails. URI is a link to uh, a third source, an, an external source, uh, like could be IPFS, uh, the web. It could be another blockchain. Uh, but the main uh, thing that we are talking about uh, when we're considering an object, uh, the ownership of an object, is this URN. You can also see we've got the copyright information here. All of this stuff is being defined in the JSON file that you etch using the Apertus I.O. tool. Uh, so let's click on this magnifying glass, which is actually the uh, provenance. Uh, and you can see that there's been uh, a few things happening to this. Uh, an update that just came through, for, or actually not just came through for me, but an update from me a while back. Some privileges uh, that were tried to, uh, uh, some, an update that failed due to privileges and a grant of, of me being the creator. Uh, and also it was created. So uh, that's why I show up in the creators list because uh, this object was created uh, with the assumption that I was the creator, but until I approve that uh, transaction uh, with my own uh, small transaction, I won't show up on this list as a creator. Unless, uh, uh, that is, unless I created it under its own address. Uh, what you're seeing here is the address, a third address is being used to create the object, and I am being assigned access to that. So it's a little, little, uh, little uh, couple levels involved in this one here. All right, have a great day. That is the object details page. I just want to come back here and see if there's any more comments. Woohoo! Oh. Well, we'll save that for another video.